set, block, I'm thinking battering ram, yes! set, block, yes! set, block, yes! now I varied slightly there because I was visualizing different timing. So sometimes I'm visualizing my opponent moving and moving in on them. Sometimes I'm envisioning being served something so simple that I simply absorb it and then use it against itself. Sometimes I'm just practicing cleanliness. Your intent is critical because it will determine how you practice and whether or not it was effective. Visualize hitting and being successful. Visualize the weapon entering the target perfectly. Visualize complete success. These are essential to your kata practice being successful. Science now says that visualization is 50% as effective as physically doing the real exercise. That's extraordinary. So if you sit down in a chair and just visualize these movements over and over, it's like you're getting 50% credit for that. That's powerful stuff. You probably already know this as a martial art because you feel the power of visualization, but it's up to us to apply imagery and use the best tools possible to make our techniques effective. So let's put it all together now. We'll now demonstrate the rising elbow that's powered by the forward lunge. Here, I could be dealing with any number of different attacks. It could be someone posturing and entering with a linear attack. It could be someone coming over the top. They could even have an object like a stick in their hand where they were swinging it at me. We'll demonstrate this a few different times. The first will be against something coming down on me, almost like they were throwing a haymaker. Again, I'm starting from a diffused position because if my arms were down, I might be using this offensively, using sen no sen timing, which is attacking his buildup of energy. In this case, he'll attack and then I'll begin to defend. So there's a large arc there and when I go in, Granted, I know that the attack is coming. I requested it, it's in my dojo. I have a good friend attacking me, so I feel completely comfortable. That being said, there's still an ample amount of time before that attack reaches me and I'm striking. I almost feel my body saying, attack, attack, don't block in that attack. Now I'm gonna try to cover more distance as my partner takes advantage of a tool that provides him a little bit of reach. So he's now got a short stick about 25 inches long and I'm gonna try to cover this distance and use the lunging elbow to do it. So he's gonna start with it on the ground, okay? As if he just saw it, picked it up and then goes to attack me immediately. The kata says start with your right foot in front so I'll do the same, although all of these things are flexible. None of these variables break the principle. One more time. Against a punch. When a punch is in between myself and the opponent. Before I can use a close range weapon, I have to move this out of the way so that I can occupy this space. So this will be Gono Sen timing. Receive, deflect, counter. And for this, I'll do this with my hands down as if my partner was just going to, to push or punch me. One more time. Good. See this? I want to make sure my partner's always giving me a legitimate attack. And that was right on the side of my throat. <laughs> I'm still alive. He's got good control. But it's important that I'm being given the benefit of legitimate attacks. So I have a great partner here, but you should do the same thing once in a while. Perhaps not when they're punching you though in the throat.
This is the rising elbow powered by the lunge.